What is up YouTube, welcome to another episode and this is Gem or Junk, a series where we go and take a cheap current team of the week player and see if he is any good. This week is David Freya and as you can see I'm going through the stats, all of these are pretty much in the uh, dark green. He's got some nice uh, looking stats, 82 shot power, uh, 89 long pass, 82 finishing, 83 dribbling, 86 ball control, some really solid stats. He's an 81 and he is a cam. Um, he's 5 foot 5, very, very small. He's got high, high attacking and defensive work rate, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills, 81 acceleration, 84 agility, 85 reactions, and 78 strength, which uh, I thought is really needed for a player of his size. 5 foot 5, you need good strength, and nearly 80 strength. Um, I thought would be enough for this player. So these are his in-game stats, and um, let's get on to my feelings on this player. Okay, so from those stats, mostly in the greens, I thought this player was going to be quite good. Um, as you can see, some of his um, play is quite hit and miss. He does get he does get stopped a lot. If you go to take someone on, he easily gets stopped for some reason. Um, really can't advance with the ball. He's definitely better with one twos. His shooting sometimes is hit and miss. But his area that is quite key from him is his finesse shots. You get him near the box, outside the box, um, with that finesse uh, shot with his right foot or even his left. Um, he's got a really nice left foot finesse as well. Um, I would say he's definitely going to score some goals for you. And being in the cam or a centre forward position, um, I think he would definitely suit that position. His passing range is good enough to be to be in that position. And there you go, another another goal with that's his uh, weak foot as well. Really solid weak foot, and he's got a good long shot on him as well but I can't recommend this player to you even though you know he scores goals even in the air being 5 for 5 somehow gets a goal he just doesn't feel good on the ball if you get him on the ball and uh, you have to do something with him he is tough to use um, the only way I would say you could use him is if you get the ball and do one twos and use other players and only use him to finish or be in the right place that's how you would play with Ferreira or Ferreira however you say his name as you can see, I put him in a 3 4 1 2 formation, and I think this definitely suited him putting him into centre forward. But he scored a lot of goals for me, which you're going to see in a minute, uh, his ratio. But I really can't recommend him. The way he feels on the ball is a pain, and you can get better players for that position. You want someone to feel good on the ball, even with the passing and movement, and he doesn't feel like that. He's still a decent player, but not someone I can really recommend. Um, he's better than some of the other informs I've used, the Scardi informs, but he's nothing special and not really worth your time picking up. But if you've got a Colombian team or an MLS team and you could put him at centre forward account, he could be quite good for those position. Um, so that's it for the end of the episode. If you have liked, please do give a like. It really does help big time. And do follow my links, which are in the description and on the screen to Twitch and Twitter. And I will see you again. Peace.